Hi everyone, welcome back to The Social Blazer. I'm John. And I'm Sarah. Today we're diving into a critical topic that's a significant concern for many Americans, the affordability of healthcare. Absolutely, Sarah. It's no secret that healthcare costs have been rising steadily over the years. Many people are worried about how these costs affect their financial stability. Let's start by talking about what's driving these rising costs. There are several factors at play here, John. One of the major drivers is the high cost of prescription drugs. Pharmaceutical companies often set high prices for their products, and even with insurance, out-of-pocket costs can be substantial. For instance, the cost of insulin has skyrocketed, putting a huge financial strain on diabetics. That's a good point. In fact, the American Diabetes Association reports that the average price of insulin nearly tripled between 2002 and 2013. This is just one example, but it highlights the broader issue of medication affordability. And it's not just prescription drugs. Administrative costs within the healthcare system, like billing and insurance-related expenses, also contribute significantly. Right, John. According to a study by the Journal of the American Medical Association, administrative costs account for about 25% of total hospital spending in the U.S. This is much higher compared to other countries with more streamlined healthcare systems. These administrative complexities and inefficiencies are definitely driving up costs. Another factor we can't ignore is the aging population. As people live longer, they naturally require more medical care. The U.S. Census Bureau projects that by 2030, all baby boomers will be older than 65, meaning one in every five residents will be of retirement age. This demographic shift is increasing the demand for health services, which in turn raises costs. Exactly. And let's not forget about the role of medical technology. While advancements in medical technology have significantly improved patient outcomes, they also come with high price tags. For example, MRI machines, robotic surgery systems, and advanced diagnostic tools are expensive to produce, maintain, and operate. That's true, Sarah. A report by the Congressional Budget Office found that technological advancements account for a large portion of the increase in healthcare spending over the past few decades. But it's not just about the technology itself. It's also about the costs of training personnel to use these advanced tools effectively. And speaking of personnel, let's talk about the workforce. The cost of labor in the healthcare industry has been rising as well. Nurses, doctors, and other healthcare professionals require extensive education and training, which is reflected in their salaries. Additionally, there's a growing shortage of healthcare workers, which drives up wages and, subsequently, the overall cost of care. That's a crucial point. According to the Association of American Medical Colleges, the U.S. could face a shortage of up to 139,000 physicians by 2033. This shortage puts pressure on existing staff, increasing the demand for higher wages and contributing to overall health care costs. So with all these factors contributing to rising costs, what can be done to make health care more affordable? Some suggest a more robust public option or even a move towards universal health care. What are your thoughts on this, John? There are certainly a lot of opinions on this topic. Advocates for a public option believe it could provide a competitive alternative to private insurance, potentially lowering costs through increased competition. Universal health care, on the other hand, would ensure that all citizens have access to medical services without the financial burden. Countries with universal health care systems like Canada and the UK often spend less per capita on health care than the US does, yet achieve similar or better health outcomes. That's right. However, transitioning to such a system would require significant restructuring of the current healthcare system and substantial initial investments. There are also concerns about the potential for increased taxes and government involvement in personal health care decisions. Another potential solution is implementing price controls on pharmaceuticals and increasing transparency in pricing. Currently, there's a lack of transparency in how prices for medical services and drugs are set. By making prices more transparent, patients can make more informed decisions, and it could drive down costs through competition. Preventative care is another important aspect. 
by focusing on preventative measures such as regular screenings, vaccinations, and promoting healthy lifestyles, we can reduce the incidence of chronic diseases like diabetes and heart disease. This could lower long-term health care costs significantly. Absolutely. Programs that promote preventative care can save money in the long run by catching health issues early and reducing the need for more expensive treatments down the line. It's about creating a system that not only treats illness, but also promotes overall health and well-being. In the end, it's clear that there's no one-size-fits-all solution. Addressing healthcare affordability will require a multifaceted approach involving policy changes, innovation in care delivery, and a focus on preventative health. We'd love to hear what our viewers think. What solutions do you propose for tackling rising healthcare costs? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to The Social Blazer for more in-depth discussions on important topics. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned for our next episode. Take care. Bye.